What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Stephen Line Surgeon. Today, as you see, I'm cutting the yard over here. I'm gonna give you a closer look at that. I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna add to and reiterate something that um, Wally from Beach River was talking about, about whether or not you should go on the pavement, on the driveway, when you're cutting the yard. Some yards you can, um, if it's dry or if it's asphalt. But usually the wider stuff like concrete, especially in the growing season, which I'm gonna talk about what is the growing season. You wanna try to stay away from getting on there because it'll make these tire tracks and it'll, it'll, look, it'll look shabby. So we'll get to that. Yes, sir. people as you can see your boy is out here killing it with that good old tall t bar i'm halfway done this yard um i don't know if you can see right here but um what i do is i frame it um i went i went along all around the yard one way and then i came back around the other way i double framed it what that allows me to do is the outside of the yard is already cut so when I come down I can just turn around on the grass and I don't have to go on this white part because if you do and the grass is healthy and wet like this or so it just rained yesterday it's gonna be tire marks all right here and you can clean off the grass but uh, it'll still be like green stuff and it'll last for like a day or so but it looks kind of shabby so um, right here if you see this is where I've uh, did the two the two uh, stripes and see how it gives me the space to turn around without having to go on the concrete and leave those tire marks and as you can see you can't even tell once you're finished that I did that you know it leaves a seamless look um, and uh, that's what I do also, like I said, I want to talk about the growing season. What the growing season is for us, uh, the growing season is the springtime, right when it starts to warm up. Um, what happens then is you get a lot of rain and you get a lot of sun. And so that makes the grass grow faster and healthier. And even if it might have been uh, dry and hadn't rained for like two days, if you got healthy grass like this grass, it holds moisture. And when it holds moisture, it's gonna be wet. And so what happens is when you have a bigger mower, like even my little Toro t bar here, those big back tires squish down that grass that you cut on these white pavement areas and it just squishes all the water out and it makes like a, a, a grass, green grass paint, <laughs> for lack of better words. And so uh, you can get away with it. Like when I had my, like if you got like a 30 inch or a push mower, you can get away with going on the pavement sometimes because those mowers aren't as heavy and the tire footprint isn't as big. But when you got a bigger mower, like getting into my walk behind, especially like a zero turn or something like that, try to make that um double double frame i call it double frame uh and you can turn around on that that way it gives you room to turn around and um you don't got to worry about leaving no marks on the pavement so hope that helped you guys out i'm gonna get back to killing this yard y'all stay tuned for more videos yes sir 